Okay, so what you see behind me is um, my portrait of Ali Pisha, and you know, I have been working on her for a while, for several months, off and on with other pieces in between. I'm really hoping to finish her up today, uh, kind of the plan this weekend. I'm a little behind schedule though. Unfortunately, this morning, I slept an extra four or five hours. I woke up at 10 o'clock. Very, it's really, that is beyond unusual for me um, at this point. But woke up late, very, very tired. It's now probably almost four o'clock in the afternoon, and I've only touched her a little bit today. So I'm going to go on YouTube and hopefully get my live feed going again. I've tried to do several live feeds in the past week, but YouTube, for some reason, um, they're running it offline, so I haven't been able to do the studio mate in another state quite the way I would like. But you know what? We just keep trying. Like everything else, we just keep trying. But Ali Pisha, uh, I started working on the background at some point yesterday, and that's really helping to push the figure out. It also helped me to reconfigure different issues I was having with Ali. And one of the biggest ones was her hands. I had her hands really close together on her hips. They were much closer in. And it brought her hips in as well. And I talk about this, uh, I've I have talked about this a million times in my videos. Not settling, thinking, oh, it'll be okay. And I did it again. I'm standing here thinking, it'll be okay. Nobody will know. She still looks great, blah, 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 or whatever. She still looks good. She didn't. She didn't look like Allie. Allie has a figure. Allie is a solid woman. She has curves. She has hips. And she is not shy about how she looks. She is completely unapologetic. Her drag art emphasizes her figure. And for me to cut it down is completely disrespectful of the reference material and of who she is. And that's what I'm always trying to capture, is who the reference is, who the, who the, the person is. Their strengths, their feeling, not just how they look, how they feel, and really paying attention to that person and not taking them and imposing my view of who they should be on the canvas but trying to express who, who they are, who they feel they are, and the image, the image or the idea of their inner selves that they're trying to project onto the world, something like that. I'm very warm. I'm sweaty. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm super sweaty. It's very warm here in Florida and humid, so I'm sweaty and having a hard time thinking while my brain bakes. Anyway, I had done her a disservice by pulling in her hips to match her hands instead of pulling out her hands to match her person. Her, her, her stoicness, her confidence in her hands, in her stance, the exaggerated measure of her shoulders and her arms, I had robbed her of that. So now I've spread her hands back out, I've spread her hips back out, and now I'm trying to find the, the darker darks and the lighter lights in this rubber or lycra suit. I'm not sure what it is, outfit that she's wearing with all the shiny stuff. But I'm going to cut into the background today as well and pull out the super poppy looks in these, the clouds that I decided to put in. I wanted, I really wanted, I wanted color, a trippy, trippy, colorful feel. Um, because she's, you know, basically a club kid. You know, and, and it's just super exciting to me. I don't know how to articulate it at this point. I get to turn on the air conditioner again and cool my head down. I'm very, very warm, very sweaty. Bugsy's even sweating at this point. It's so warm. But I'm going to go in and work on the clouds, work on the background, and really pull out, put, push in vibrant colors, push in the oranges and yellows onto her sleeves to help push her shoulders out. I'm going to push in oranges and yellows to pull out her arms, her hands. And I've come up against her face here and there with, with oranges and yellows to help push her forward. But then I decided to do a white outline just because I, I don't know, I, I love 
sometimes love a white outline and how it can help to 3D an image in an, in an abstract way. Anyway, that's what I'm going to be working on. Working on getting live uh, a live feed going on YouTube, trying to figure out what the issue is there. And uh, we'll just keep painting. We'll just keep working on it. Eh, we'll see. Not that tech savvy. Try to be, but not that tech savvy. So we'll see what happens. Going on YouTube and we'll just figure it out. Alright, ciao.